Hello, welcome back to another Curve Vein video. A video where we look at builds and in particular today, the build we're looking at is a strength build. As you can probably tell by my massive sword. Anyway, so right now we're going to go into gear and what we're going to be using for the build. Now, just so you know, I've not finished the game yet. So I've plus 9, plus 6 and plus 6, but I am at very much the end. But... Honestly, the gear, even it being under-leveled, the build is still really powerful. So, for gear, we're going to get into the weapons. So, we have a Zweihander, Zweihander, plus 9. Obviously, we can get to plus 10, but we haven't yet. Um, which deals at 1,000, um, 1,721 damage, which is pretty good. But you've also put a fortification modifier on it. Which basically gives our weapon a good chunk of attack more, but makes it weigh more too. So if you're doing a really heavy build, uh, you probably can do with the weight. It probably doesn't matter if you put the fortification on it, so... You know, it's definitely worth it. It's good to put on any weapons, to be honest. On any build, if you feel like you can. Anyway, um, the next weapon we have, a machete. We could put a fortification on that too, but I haven't yet. Well, right now we're just 712 damage, which is pretty good, just for like a a sword. So if you want to see how these weapons kind of swing and work, I'll show you right now. So we've got the square. Ooh, I don't really want to get too close to the test dummy. Why am I attacking to the side? Oh, am I trying to attack at the test dummy? Oh, there you go. There you go. Combo. So you get like an overhead and then a slash. Um, for the triangle, we have kind of just a big slash with a little cool puff around it. Um, if you hold the right bumper and press square, we get like a thrust, which is a pretty good attack, I found. Um, we also have, with the bumper on R1, no, bumper and triangle, sorry, right bumper, we have like a golf swing, which is pretty neat. Um, now, for the machete, or machete. Machete, yeah. It's basically a sword, but it swings a bit slower. Um, but yeah, it's pretty fast still. Got a pretty cool moveset as well. And that was the square moveset, so let's try the triangle. Pretty, pretty boring, but you know. Um, so right bumper square, we have... Sort of like a jumping slam attack, which is pretty cool. Um, and then with right bumper triangle, we have sort of another sort of golf swing. But yeah, that's it for the weapon showcase. Um, but yeah, these weapons are really good. I've still yet to upgrade to this one, but I think when I put fortification and get plus 10, it will have a thousand attack, which is pretty damn good. And this one should have about 1,800 when I get it to plus 10. So, very powerful weapons. This is probably the best, one of the best, or if not the best strength weapon in the game, simply because I've looked at great hammers, oops, I've looked at great hammers and other great swords and none of them seem to compare in the amount of damage they do. So that's why I picked Zweihander for this one. So, with our armor, we're going to be using the GXM variant, minus plus six. Um, I've not found any other heavy armor that is that I can actually wield that is defensive enough and scales well with strength. For my build. Uh, the closer one was this one. But it did I did lose a lot of like my drain attack and my gifts light and just general stuff like that. Bit of defense. So yeah, and um, the best one I found so far is definitely this. And you get it very early in the game, down the big pit if you got there yet. So you can definitely try and get that. And it's definitely worth using on a strength build. So um, we're gonna, not going to talk about these yet, but we're going to talk about our blood code, which is the most important thing of a build, to be honest. So, right now, I'm using Atlas. Um, at the start of the game, after you defeat the first boss, I'm not going to spoil it, you'll get a Berserker. You probably know that anyway, but it's the, by far the best one to use for a strength build. Um, features high strength and endurance. Its low Ica stock is offset with heavy armor, same as Atlas. You get the same amount of Ica, which is 10. Doesn't seem like a lot, but you don't really need to use a lot of abilities for this class. Um, so, at the start of the game, you're going to definitely want to use Berserker. 
It's best when you get into Atlas, which you get a little bit later on, not too much later. But Berserker is amazing. But then when we get to Atlas, it's going to allow us the use of heavy armor, great for enduring close quarters combat. This is like an upgraded version of Berserker, except it's got less stamina and fortitude scaling. So other than that, we get more damage, we get more a bit more defense, we get more health, we get more balance, which is your poise. Um, we don't get as much weight, we do lose a little bit of our carry weight, but it's only 3 units, so uh, not bad. I mean, let's get a good chunk of scaling more on each of our stats, except Fortitude. We also get Blood Veil, Gift Dark, and Drain Attack. So, yeah, definitely very worth using this one. So, with the important bit, we're going to go to our passives. Um, right, Health Boost. I'm pretty sure these are new Health Boost that you get later. I've not found it yet, but I'm pretty sure this one that gives you like 500 health. This one gives you about 150, but it's definitely worth using. Um, this one increases the amount of stamina you have. I'm not sure by how much. Let me have a look. Uh, stamina is... Where's our stamina? Uh, stamina, 215. If we take this off, we have... Um, 195, so it adds about 20, which is definitely really useful. Um... Balance up. Oh, by the way, this one is in the fighter class, and this one is in the ranger class. Just so you know. Um, to be able to use passives and gifts on other classes, you have to max them out to version. Sort of like um, inherit them, if you know what I mean. Anyway, we have balance up, which is on the berserker class. Um, it increases balance, which is poise. We get a good chunk more poise so we don't get staggered as easily while we're attacking and just generally playing. Right. This is what makes the Zweihander awesome. Basically, two-handed two sword master is part of As Atlas uh, blood code. Um, increase the attack power when equipped with a two-handed sword. So, right now our attack is 1,721. If we take this off, Bam, 1,434. So we actually lose, oh god, my voice there, sorry. <laughs> we need to use, lose almost 300 attack straight off there. So if you use a two-handed great sword, definitely, this is like your best pack ever. Um, Right here, we have Foul Blood Barrier. This is a part of the um, Atlas code, blood code. Um, it's a single use barrier around you and your partner that greatly reduces damage. Definitely good. It lasts about, I think it's about 10, 20 seconds, but it's definitely good to pop as soon as you enter a boss fight. And it also affects your um, partner, so it's definitely useful. Um, but yeah, it costs 5 Ica. Um Adrenaline is from the, um, what do you call it, the fighter skill. So we're using a lot of different things from different classes, which is really good about this build. Uh, temporarily boosts attack power. It lasts about 30 seconds. It boosts how much attack damage you do. I will show you later when we actually have a look at the damage and skills that we can do. Um, Legion Punisher is a part of the Dragon Breath um, blood code. Throw your weapon and make it spin an offensive skill form with two-handed sword slash hammer. Really powerful, cost 5 Ica. Um, this one is even better. Uh, Dust Trial to make a powerful overhead attack and offensive skill performed with two handed sword sauce hammer. Uh, it cost 6 Ica, the previous one cost 5. Um, this one is from the um, Atlas blood code, so definitely want to pick up from there. Actually, no, it's not from the Berserker, actually. Sorry about that. Uh, these ones um, are just our partner's uh, abilities, so we're not going to talk about these. And this is to heal our partner, so we're not going to talk about that. So for this build, we only really need four skills. Obviously, you can put more in if you want. That doesn't really matter. That's up to you. But now, we are going to be testing the damage of our skills. So, right now, at plus nine, this sword is going to hit four about... 1721 which is obviously our attack on here so you do do the damage you actually have 
Definitely the training dummy anyway, probably nullifies all the resistances so you just do flat damage. But yeah, very powerful. Try this. This is only plus 6 remember, so it might not be as strong as you'd thought. 641 even though it's not upgraded is pretty good still. But then again, this is a weapon we don't really use it just for a bit of an extra. We can actually uh, quick roll with this. Whereas with our sword, we're kind of like fat rolling. But yeah, um, so this obviously a barrier. Um, not really anything to show you, but yeah. So we're doing 1,721 before with our sword damage. I don't know why I clicked off there. So when we use this, we're going to be doing 1,893. So definitely worth using before you enter a boss fight or before you're about to fight a strapped off enemy. Stuff like that, very useful. Um, this attack, one I'm not really that sure of. You kind of have to be a certain distance away for it to give its full effect. You basically throw your sword. There you go. That 9,278. Yeah, very powerful, but it's kind of hard to use in a way. Because sometimes you're either too far away from the enemy and you completely miss. Or if you do it really close up, you don't get the full damage like that. So do you see how my little spin attack sort of just completely missed? Because it was around the test dummy. you got to be uh, wary of that. So we're going to try again. Yeah, see? You often just miss the attack. But you know, that's how it is, I guess. Still a very powerful attack. Definitely more powerful than the one I'm going to show you. But the other one is a lot easier to use and doesn't really miss a target as easily. Which is a Dragon Lunge. 7,933. 7, yeah, not as much as the other one, but a lot easier to use than the other one. So... That, are, uh, that is our abilities. I won't really be testing it on enemies. Because I don't really see the need. But yeah. Definitely a build that I would uh, think considering to use. It is very powerful. The most powerful I think I've seen yet. Um, I want to test what I can do in one stamina bar of my weapon. Ten thousand eight hundred and forty-four. Obviously, you're probably not gonna do that much, but that's how it is. I see you triangles. Gary Tess actually doesn't really combo very well, but let me just see what this does. Six thousand three hundred forty. That's actually really good. Um, obviously, when we get a. Uh, plus 10 or to at least plus 9 same as our sword and also put verification on it that'll be very good to use um but yeah i think that's all we have to really explain for this video there will be more um guide build videos so uh, if you want to see more be sure to subscribe and come back i have a lot more coming your way so thank you for watching this video see you on the next one bye bye